They he doesn't want to play with cards. With you want to play cooking with cards. My mother daydreaming. never played with us. Hi, I'm Lenore Skenazy, author of the book and blog, Free Range Kids. Here to talk today about whether we have to play with our children. You hear that a lot. Oh, playing with your kids, it's so important. They have to see that you care. You can give them great ideas. You can develop them this way and that way until they're king of the universe because you sat there and played the 19th game of Tiddlywinks. Well, in fact, you don't have to do that. Lenore. You are so speaking the gospel. My mother never played with us. Even when we'd be saying, oh mom, please be pioneer girl with us and drink milk out of a tin cup. She was like, nope, nope. She never would. Look, Noir, um, I'm not sure I agree. Not every adult needs tons and tons of time with other people. Some people are more introverted and kids are the same way. So if you happen to have a really social kid, you're gonna have a hard time not playing the thousandth game of Monopoly with them, because that's how they are. My kid tends to ask to play with me when he's not feeling like he's getting enough time from me. You know, it's funny, because I, I, I kind of agree with all three of you, um, in a way. I think that it's really, really, really important for our kids to learn how to play on their own. So I see what you're saying, Lenore, that we should be kind of giving them the opportunity to learn how to play by themselves. But I also think it's important to engage with them and to sit down and play a game once in a while, especially if you're a working parent or if you're outside the house. There's actually something to be said for doing the opposite, which is letting the kid sit there and get bored out of his mind. I actually wrote a post on this, Up With Boredom. What's so great about boredom? Well, the bad thing for us, the parents, is that we have to listen to whining for a while. But the good thing for kids is that eventually boredom is so painful if you are not rushing in to fill the vacuum by saying Monopoly, yeah, or Tea Party, you bet, they will come up with something on their own. With Archer, he doesn't ever want to make believe with me. He likes to make believe with his friends. And when he plays with his toys, he doesn't want to play with me. In fact, anytime he does, he's like, yeah, let's play a game or let's play this, he ends up wanting me to leave anyway. In fact, the other day, He's like, Mom, do you want to play trains with me? And I said, sure. So I sat down to play trains with him, and he's like, no, I don't. I didn't mean play with me. I meant watch. What I tend to do is just go be near him and then engage a little bit in what he's doing, but mostly like clean up his toy area. Or I will say, well, I can't come play toys right now. Maybe we can go in the kitchen and make cupcakes together or make dinner together. Or do you want to play cooking with Mom? Now, do I play with my kids? Yes. Do I enjoy playing with my kids? Yes, sometimes I do. Um, but I don't want my kids to feel it's a crutch, like they can't play without me or, uh, you know, because they can't play on their own. Do you really think you have to play with your kids even when you're bored out of your mind, even when they're whining, even when you want to make dinner? Tell me. Join the Momversation at momversation.com.